up next is the UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with him and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Both fighters are 31, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. The main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Hollywood, California, Grandmaster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, been through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Ooh, what a punch. Just missed with the left there. Oh, collar tie. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Lands a big right hand early. Oh! 
right at the elbow. Provided the plan. Straight right, he misses. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so then. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. And then he lands a nice elbow. Good stick. Body kick is blocked. Oh man, head kick land. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Lee. My goodness. Beautiful knees. Oh, straight right. That one is thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Takedown defense holds up. And he landed the right hand there. Stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. <laughs> Just misses there with the left. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big shots being landed on both sides here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, uppercut to the chin. Well, missed on that one. Got the single collar tie. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Big punch land. Ooh. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, big elbow. Now a knee. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Top down defense on the one. He is a master in transition. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Beautiful straight counter. Nice straight punch. Oh, man, I'm, I'm just so glad that front kick didn't hit me. Kind of felt like right in the sternum. Your opponent come forward and drive the ball of your foot into your opponent's sternum and hope to really affect the breathing. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. It's such a fast leg. Both kick. fighters throwing heat now. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. You gotta whip his hip into that kick. 
Look at how he turns his hip. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Oh! Just out of range with the straight left hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice punch wins. Battle for position here. Oh! Dude hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, simple call time now. Head kick lands. Beautiful right hook counter. Lands another strike to the body. He's really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Okay. Okay. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. That right hand landed. Nice leg kick. And that left hook landed on the button. Another big leg kick land. Oh, nice right hand. Blocks the shot. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Left hand punch from the clinch. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Landed that one. Beautiful leg kick throw. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, single collar tie here. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Good right hand right there. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Back and forth we go. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Him with a head kick that at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Oh, oh. oh. He's the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pull it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Whoa! Back to the feet. Oh, we got this. Big knee to the body. We got him. What a round. So there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, 
great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. And he's back up. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. And they separate. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing it. There as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very fast with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He's a trouble. He's hurt bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Down into his mouth. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Well, he's got his back now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Lee. Right to side control, yep. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Nice punch lands over the top. 
Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Able to land the left hand there. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the book. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these. Over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making things go and lower and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated. He's so able to fight for both fighters. Oh, huge hammer fist landing now. It's over. You can't take these punches. You gotta move. You gotta escape or he's gonna finish the fight. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Big kick land. The body was wide open. His opponent took advantage. Kick to the yeah. Looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 53 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Grandmaster. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You've only asked to party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.